What's going on guys, Teddy Wurty here and welcome back to another tutorial on our Minecraft modding 1.12.2 series. So um this one is not going to be a very exciting tutorial. Um I'm just gonna warn you now. You probably already realised from the title. Um but this is very important um for your mod to be popular, I would say, and for it to succeed. <coughs> And this is a mistake I made when I started the tutorial, really. So, basically, when you try to run your mod on a server, it will crash. No matter what, it will crash. And that is to do with rendering, because we have put the rendering on the server side. And, basically, you cannot render stuff on the server side. Well, you can, but only in specific situations. And the issue is, that's what we're doing. Um, so, we need to make sure everything is rendered on the client side. Now, there are several ways you can do this. Um, and, yeah, there's several ways you can do it. You can use the client proxy. Um, and, basically, create a method in here. Um, and we're going to do that now, um, just to make it a bit easier. So you just want to type public void render, and that's it. That's all you want to type. And then you can close uh, common proxy. And because it extend, because our client proxy extends common proxy, we can call that method in here. So let's go ahead and find render. Once my eclipse kicks into play. There you go, and we see our render method. Now we're not going to use this in this tutorial. Um, this is going to be for another tutorial that I am going to do soon after this one um, on throwable projectiles. Um, but we need this method for that. So now we can close that. Um, we don't want to do super dot render. We just want to keep it blank. And next we need to go into our handlers because we are rendering our entity renders and um, a few other things wrong. So first, yes, we have a few things to do. So this GUI handler, I believe, yeah, this client part needs to be side only client. So side only side dot client. And just import side only. And there you go. Why do we have this method? I don't know. Let's get rid of that because it's empty. <laughs> and just close that. Um, also, render handler. This needs to be side only client. Side dot client. And once again, import side and side only. <coughs> and yep, yeah, that's that one. Um, I think that's everything. However, on our entity, we need to go to all of the model classes and the render classes and make them also side only client. Um, and the diamond hook. Even though I'm not using this, this needs to be side dot client. Um, if you are using it, it needs to be side.client um, because for some reason fishing hooks are rendered on the client. No, they are the actual entity is client only. As you can see, oh wait, no, we no, we don't need this. My bad, because um, we already have it over the constructor. Yeah, so the actual entity is uh, client only, which is interesting. Uh, also, I should probably rename these variables, but you can do that. Just rename that to player, um, and just change it there, change it there, change it there, change it there. And you can change that, change that. You can change all these different um, bad variable names. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so now in the render test, we need to make this side-only client. Um, because obviously it's a render class, but we're going to make sure that it is actually on the client side because this this what we're doing right now isn't actually doing anything. Um, so we'll make this side only side dot client, 
and make sure you input side only and finally the render diamond arrow and let's make this side only side dot client now what what we are going to after this should automatically make it side only side uh, it should automatically make it on the client side um, but just in case um, you know we're going to do that oh yeah we haven't done key binds yet but I'm working on that and yep that's that so now we can go into our util handlers and go over to our registry handler and we're just going to make sure that model register is side only side dot client um, it should be it should already be side dot client um, but just in case because we want to make sure that this is side dot client if this it if this is ever goes on the server side you will have a lot of issues it won't work um, it definitely will not work if this is on the client uh, if this is on the server side um, you won't have any of your models it will just crash probably um, I expect not that that would happen because I believe model registry event is client maybe I, I think it makes it client not too sure though and yeah that's that so now let's go down here and you see where we have in pre init registries we have our render handler and the render handler so actually I'll just show you it crashing first so if if you click the down arrow next to run do run configurations click on server or yeah that one I think and just click run should see if you just watch in the console and just bring it up it should crash oh I need to agree to the EULA of course uh, run let's just refresh this oh 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 god what did I do refresh Fresh. Oh, let me just press F5. Maybe? No? Okay. Um. Okay, let me try find this. Okay. Just talk about So if we go run and just accept the EULA. and close that now if we run it we should see it will crash hopefully I'm actually hoping it will crash if not then perfect we've already done it uh, but when we do custom projectiles we have to make sure um, that is registered differently um, you can't just use the normal registry because it uh, uses the render snowball in an actual fact um, we have to use the render snowball for that so we should see yeah there you go so obviously that had a seizure um, and we're going to fix that so obviously yeah so let's just pop that back down there so that is saying um, I believe what's that saying special renderer so that's actually this now I didn't think this needed to go huh I didn't think this needed to go on the on the client side but it turns out it does so let's put it after this okay and so yeah that's that done um, then we have render handler dot register custom meshes and states so just put that below that then we have our render handler dot register entity renderers oh you also need to make sure you remove these from here otherwise it's not going to work 
and just pop that there and we'll try again and we should see if I've done this right I'm not sure if this is correct we'll see we should see that it doesn't crash so I'm actually just going to move this to my other screen so you don't have to see that um, missing English translation oh that's the forwards stupid forwards missing their translations oh yeah we also need to go over these they're easy to fix just preparing the spawn area now obviously you can't load into the game from clips um or can you okay so you see that's finished loading if i just run this client it... oh no why am i loading into the world i wanted to join the server stupid Stupid me. What a spoon. Okay, multiplayer. And this should find my game. If not, I will direct connect. Yeah, I'm, I'm direct connecting. Local host should be what it's called. Nope. You can see it is a thing. Because it finds it. Um, five mods. But, yeah, I've, I've been having trouble to actually join the server. Uh, I don't know why. Lost connection. But, yeah, you should be able to test that on the server. If that doesn't work, um, leave a comment in this video or on my Discord server. And um, I will get around to that. If you leave it in my Discord server, you will have a much, much higher chance of me replying. Because um, I don't check my YouTube comments too often. Um, it's only when I happen to go on YouTube and I'm bored that I see if I have any notifications. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Um... Yeah, um, so that should be it. If it as, as I said, if that doesn't work, tell me in my Discord server or in the comments, and I will I'll get back to you on that. And I will update, I will put it in the description of this video of how to fix it if there's another issue. Um, but basically, you just need to make sure all of the rendering and model loading is on the client side. That's basically it. Um, also, you do need to be careful with GUIs, um, as GUI, like, uh, between the client and the server, they can have some issues. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.